That's the jam right there. This is Myrie Hayes. Be a blessing to someone else. <laughs> hey, hello everybody. It is Myrie Hayes. If this is your first time um, viewing my video. This is Myrie Hayes with Car Conversations. I just, while I'm riding into the office or to different locations, I just talk about stuff that's on my mind. A lot of times it's not pre-planned or anything. Sometimes I'll come up with a subject beforehand, um, but most times it's not really pre-planned. It's all just off the top of this crown. <laughs> so anyway, so today I was just thinking about, um, you know, someone that I coach things that I've ran over in the past, you know, few months, um, and I just wanted to bring up the the subject of, are you self-aware? You know, honestly, a lot of <laughs> a lot of people I run into now, um, I wouldn't say a lot, but more. I guess more than I used to, but not a lot, are not self-aware. Self-awareness is so important, you guys. You have to know yourself. You know, I feel like it's important in life and important in business. You have to know who you are. You have to know, you know, what your boundaries are. You, you need to establish that. You need to be self-aware. Um, it just makes you a better person, I feel like, and it makes you a, definitely a better business person. I know from my own uh, experience, you know, I've spent a lot of time um, soul searching, journaling, doing different things like that, therapy, you know, and I feel like I'm at a point in my life where I am pretty aware of how I am you know and it and it helps me to maneuver and flow in life because of that so you know I'll, I'll give an example I'm a very very um, non-confrontational type um, I guess very giving person but when you're like that People tend to take advantage of you. People tend to try to walk over you and things like that. But when I came self-aware that I'm like that, I start to set boundaries. I start to say, you know, am I going to continue to let people run my life? I'm a grown person. Am I going to continue to just let people, um, you know, put me in situations where it's not a choice it's not my choice you know so I set up things in my life um, just to give an example in business you know I set up where I actually have people in my life that I I throw things off of in order to make business decisions my lawyer is one of them my lawyer you know, he gives me a lot of personal and because he's an older guy and he, um, he's he been in business, different businesses before. He's been in the world. He's been around. So I take his advice and I pay him to give me legal advice. <laughs> but uh, I found myself, I guess, in business not being who the best that I could be. Because people get you in situations when you're a giving person where you're giving everything away. You can't be in business and give it all away. You can't be in business and not make money because you're in business to make money. So, you know, it's not just him. There's other people that, you know, I've partnered up with that give me business advice 
sound business advice. And uh, and I feel like that's a part of me being self-aware to say, you know, Myri, you know yourself and you know you would give, I would literally give the shirt off my back to people. But because you have a business now, because you have employees that are expecting to get paid, because you have to keep the business going, you can't give everything away. You have to say, you know, you have to say no sometime. You have to set boundaries and say, you know, you're gonna sign this contract with me and we're gonna stick to this contract. You have to set things up like that. Well, that it is a part of me being self-aware. Even in my personal life, you know, I'm the type of person, you know, I, I love everybody. I love, I love people. I feel like that's a, that's my gift from God. I don't have a lot of gifts. I'm not, you know, a creative person and handy and stuff like that, but I do love people genuinely. And I'm not saying anything's wrong with loving people, but when you are that type of person that loves people, like I said, it'll get you in bad situations to where, you know, it'll get you in situations maybe where you might offend people. You know, I've I've had myself in situations where because I'm a loving person, maybe a husband or a, a man took that a different way and it caused a conflict with their spouse or their um, significant other because I'm loving you know and I like to show love to people but I had to set boundaries and say okay Mari you know you can't do this you can't do that that's a part of me being self aware there's things that I cannot do because I have to think about how it's going to affect the other person too so not just myself and then I'll get myself caught up and you know it could turn into something bad where I had to shoot somebody. Now I'm just like <laughs> Y'all know I jo I joke. I'm I'm self-aware that I'm a jokester. I like to have fun. I like to joke, you know. And I use that in my life and I use that in business. So, you know, like I said, the subject today is are you self-aware? Cuz there's things that you need to you know, people say soul searching, things like that. There's things you need to know about yourself in order to make you a better person, a better friend, a better wife, a better sister, a better whatever you are, you know, a better husband. You need to be self-aware. And being self-aware helps you to establish boundaries. It helps you to... Um, know how to maneuver it helps you to know how to function on a daily basis so like I said I've done a lot of journaling I've done therapy I've done work you know I am the type of person I don't like to read novels or poetry or anything like that I like to read books that are going to change me from the inside out that are going to help me in my journey through life that includes the Bible I read the Bible. I use the scripture. I refer to Proverbs a lot in my daily life because I want to be self-aware and I want to know that, you know, that I'm the best that I can be, you know? So think about that today. Are you self-aware of what type of person you are? Because I meet people, grown people all the time and you be looking at them like you are living in la la land <laughs> because because they have this perception of themselves that i feel like isn't reality because they are not self-aware you know there's people out there that will be dirty people you'll go to their house or their you know what i mean or their business and they're nasty and then they'll come to you and say that they're clean and say that, oh, you need to clean up or something like that. 
that's not being self-aware you need to be self-aware of what's going on with you before you it's kind of like the scripture says sweep around your own front door <laughs> before you or take the take the moat out of your eye <laughs> you know so that comes with being self-aware that's why i tell you know like me and my sister okay we get into conflict because i told her i try not to judge people because and I know the scripture says judge that you should not be judged, you know, but people I think take that the wrong way. But I just don't like to um to judge people because because I'm working on me. I can't worry about everybody else. I have to take people basically at face value because I'm working on me. I can't worry about anybody else. All I can do is set boundaries with that person, let them know what I am going to accept from them and what I'm not going to accept from them, and then move on. You know what I'm saying? And it's my choice on whether I'm going to deal with that person or not. But I'm not going to sit here and try to change a old, a, you know, a grown person. It is what it is. So that's comes with me being self-aware you know so i'm almost at the office <laughs> but uh but i just wanted to jump on here and just give as always car conversations i just wanted to give people you know something to to think about are you self-aware if you're not you need to work on that So it is Myri Hayes. Let me just add, um, I've been letting people know um, Instagram has allowed me the opportunity to receive badges. If you feel inspired by me or if you want to, if you just feel sorry for me <laughs> and you want to uh, donate to a good cause, I do have a nonprofit. It is the L3 integrated mental and behavioral foundation um, we are a nonprofit we offer um, hygiene products to people that deal with mental illness that may not have an income or homeless people and so um, any proceeds will be used for the nonprofit for that purpose if you don't follow me Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at My Reasons Why. Also, I'm on Facebook. It's Myrie Hayes. And you can also follow me on YouTube <laughs> as Myrie06. Um, I have a podcast called B-O-Y-B-B. -B, Be on your best behavior. Check it out. Share it. Subscribe. I would appreciate it. Share my video share my video share this video with someone that you feel like look don't judge them but that you feel like they're not self-aware <laughs> so so it is myrie hayes listen oh i just saw case comment that's my sister Kay. she talking about quit ranting i'm not ranting i'm just doing my car conversations girl this type of stuff be going on in my head as i'm driving and you, and you know you be coming up with some stuff while you driving. Y'all don't even want to know. She probably done created a thousand businesses for her and her, the people she coach, all while driving. <laughs> so anyway, like I said, it's Myrie Hayes. And as I always say, in everything you do, be a blessing to someone else. Thank you for watching. Take me far, I'm living my life back